Hi, I'm Sakura Senpai. Today I'll talk about Namaste Curry Police by Candy Fox. First, I'll explain simply for people who don't know this issue. A Japanese DJ group who are famous on the internet made a song Namaste Curry Police and uploaded the music video, but that was very disrespectful for Indian people and culture, so they deleted it and apologized. It became a big problem, and even the Japanese embassy in India announced a statement. I wasn't gonna make a video about this topic because I like to make funny videos to smile together, but I've changed my mind because first I'm getting many comments and messages while live streaming on Twitch, anonymous question box, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, my whole social media. Also, I get much love and support from India all the time, so I felt I need to talk and explain this as a Japanese. Not only I'll talk about this Candy Fox issue, I'd like to discuss cultural appropriation and racism in Japan. Four years ago, famous comedian Downtown wore blackface in a popular program to impersonate Eddie Murphy's character from the film Beverly Hills Cop. They were criticized by media in other countries. Why do these things happen in Japan? I'll talk about these things, but this is just my personal opinion. When I read the article about the Candy Fox song being a problem, my honest opinion was, why did they do this? And I saw many people's angry comments. It was really sad. I liked Japan, but not anymore. That type of comment made my heart break. It may sound strange, but I feel sorry to Indian people as a Japanese. The most common opinion is, it's sad that this video is thought to be what all Japanese people think. Also, even their fans say, we are so disappointed at this video because it's the second time they caused a big social problem. Two years ago, when Candy Fox are working under a different name, a girl in their agency accused on Twitter, I wanna leave this agency because I was sexually harassed by DJ Shacho, who is a leader of Representing You. A lot of people cheered her up. A few days later, they uploaded one music video on YouTube and they revealed the whole sexual harassment was made up as a promotion for her. Of course, many people became angry at them, so he apologized and deleted the video. So now, people say, again? Then what was the apology? You needed to learn many things from two years ago. As other reaction, some Japanese uploaded videos about this topic to learn. Why this video hurt many Indian people? How disrespectful? They are doing things like interviewing Indian people, gathering Indian people's comments. We are trying to run from this. Why do these problems occur in Japan? I think Japanese don't know about racism and cultural appropriation very well. Even if we know the words as knowledge, we don't know what kind of action and behavior is the problem. That's because first, in Japan, many people belong to Japanese people's community. I mean, if there are no non-Japanese around you, then you can't feel close to these problems. Second, many Japanese are not familiar with foreign news because we are not so good at English. Third, Japanese don't have so much knowledge about religion. As I mentioned before, famous comedian Downtown wore blackface in super popular TV program in 2017. You might be surprised, but some Japanese people commented, I didn't think it would be a problem as racism. For some people, they learned it for the first time. Of course, ignorance is no excuse, and I think we Japanese have to learn. About the Namaste Kari police issue, Candy Fox tweeted before, our goal is to be the world's number one entertainment. If so, it's important for them to learn culture and respect for people, not only language. Of course, that's same with me. I have to keep the learning too. Lastly, 
it said bad thing will spread quickly on the internet. This time, many Indian people are hurt by this song. Also, many Japanese feel terrible too. We Japanese say the internet amplifies negative feelings. But I think the opposite is also true. Internet world can make good vibes. For example, when I talk about anime or games with foreigners, it's much more fun because you have a different angle to me. It's always interesting to me. Also, last year, I had much stress because I couldn't go outside because of virus. But I couldn't say it to my families and close friends because I knew they were also having a tough time. At that time, you guys made me smile via the internet. We talked and shared stupid stories like always and just enjoyed it together. I finally could relax and cry. Even if our nationality and background are different, we can be friends. I believe we can connect heart to heart. So even sometimes I get scared to make videos because of my poor English or ignorance, I might hurt someone, but I want to make many fun videos here. I'm so glad if I can make you smile and share happy feelings with you all. Sakura Senpai Japan. Thank you for watching this long video until the last. Next, I want to make fun, happy video like always. So please subscribe to this channel. Much love from Japan. Sakura Senpai. See you next video. Bye bye.